prime driver of growth and profitability was customer loyalty. Prerequisite that we need in order to be able to drive customer loyalty is we need customer satisfaction. That then of course raises the question, and you may already be thinking that, so how much satisfaction do I need in order to get to a decent level of customer loyalty? What is the relationship between satisfaction and loyalty? Is it a sort of linear situation that if I have a little bit more satisfaction, then I also have a little bit more loyalty? It goes up in a sort of a 45 degree angle if I was supposed to draw it. What do you think about that? The other lesson in this is that, and this is sometimes really depressing to, uh, to contemplate, when we serve the right product delivered on time at the right price, at the right specifications, exactly as it said in our service level agreement or whatever terms we use to define the service product that we're providing, then that will give us a three, or if we're really good, a three and a half on a satisfaction scale. Now that's deeply depressing, isn't it? What other instruments do we have left that are not related to the actual quality of the product and that would actually move the needle the last bit. They create an emotional connection between the service provider, the waiter or the receptionist or the gas station attendant or whoever it was who did it, did something out of their own accord that somehow established a positive connection with that person. And it's always on an emotional level. What we're talking about here is relatively virgin territory, isn't it? Not a lot of people out there have fantastic service experiences. And when they finally do, they remember and they tell their friends about it. So, so that's, this is like taking candy from kids, if you like. It really is. People in general don't have fantastic service experiences. That's reality. Think of your own situation.